Hey everybody, what's up? Chris here from JetSim Flight, and uh, today we're going to be looking at the upper overhead panel in our Embraer 145 project simulator. And uh, what you see in front of you is a is essentially the fuse panel that goes over the top of the overhead panels. And I've got uh, these holes cut in here. These are half inch holes. Um, and those are cut for these little guys right here. Make sure we can get a, there we go. Uh, which are fuse holders. Um, now, I, I wanted to try to find like the push style that, uh, you know, the, the real aircraft use, but when I found them, they were really pricey. So I was looking for alternatives and this is what I found. It actually turns out really nice. I think it's a, uh, you know, it has a really nice raised piece to it, and uh, if I actually want to use them at some point and make them into uh, function, oops. if I want to actually use them, they're actually real, so I can actually put a fuse inside of this uh, to protect some of the other things. So, which I I might do with uh, like some of the uh, LED backlighting and stuff like that. I may put fuses in to protect those circuits because. Uh, um, they have a tendency to make boards go pretty uh, bonkers, so that's probably what I'll use most of the fuses for, is just some backlighting uh, uh, fusing so that uh, we can keep those circuits safe as possible. And then the other thing that you might see here is uh, uh, a locking mechanism. Feel this there? Okay, so here's the key. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm going to stick the key oops, this way. Another direction. the two directions. There it goes. Okay, so now that the key's in, we can turn. So this basically locks the overhead panel in place so that um, <clears throat> so that it doesn't move. Um, and it looks like I'm going to need to make an adjustment here because this is actually the wrong way if I need to turn it to the right. Uh, no. Yeah, it's, it's backwards. I need to turn it the other way so that the, when I turn it to the right, it actually locks it, not unlocks it. So and then on the top, these are just like one and a half inch wide, and the space here is one and a half inches wide uh, as well. And uh, I have 40, uh, 40 of the little fuse holders, but um, I decided that I'm only going to use 36 on this because when I put this all together, I realized that, well, I only have space for about 30 of them. So, And that's with putting enough space kind of in between that I can, uh, you know, put labels and things like that on there, which are going to probably have to be hand-painted or something. I'm not even sure yet, to be honest, because, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I may have to put them on there with uh, different letters. I, I'm not even sure. But anyway, uh, so the next piece of this is going to be to uh, get it nice and sanded really, really, really well. And then I'll put uh, some clear coat to seal the wood part, and then a few coats of primer, and then a few coats of paint, and then it'll be ready to be uh, mounted in the sim. So uh, keep a lookout for that, and uh, probably gonna have some other videos coming really soon over the next uh, week or two, just as I uh, should be having some more time to work on the sim now that it's the holiday time, and there's a few more breaks here and there in uh, my, regular, my regular day job. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe below, hit that like button, and uh, stay tuned for our next video. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful day.